switch it on. Right, so welcome everybody. Here we go again. So we might, we might get Asma turning. I think she can't make today, um, the lady that sometimes comes. Um, oh, so, um, I've almost got my nailed down for the day retreat that I'm actually going to do here. Oh, for the day retreat because it's just so peaceful. Because mm. um, Swatham is good, but then you've still got the sound of that main road between Swatham and Burwell. And I'm just thinking if you want to spend the day focusing on something, we'd we'll be better off doing it here. So I've got to get in touch with the hall lady and ask her which, which Saturday's free. Yeah. Um, and it'll be something like half nine till half four, something like that. And then you'll have to bring your own lunch, but I can I can provide tea and coffee <laughs> as part of the thing. And cake. Let me give you cake. There's all the cake. But it'll be um, and also because the Wi-Fi is so good, it will be partially online. So if anyone wants to come to a day retreat, they can even do it online as well. So we're going to have it as a kind of mm. zoom and room. Thing, version. Oh. So, uh, but it will probably be the 18th or the 25th of June on okay. Saturday. So that um, <coughs> we were a little bit reticent about doing day retreats for a while because of this whole COVID sickness. But I think we'll just have to do it. Right, one of those days, Burwell and Swapham Prime go to a garden trip. I'm oh. trying to remember. Yeah, so if you can tell me, yeah, that, that would, would be quite sense. good. Or we could always do it on the maybe even on a Sunday. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, if, if you could, um, yeah, that would might affect a few people. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean there will hopefully be people coming in from Cambridge or. Uh, mm -hmm. time so we can at least advertise and get people to sign up and yeah. Do you put a limit on numbers or? Yeah, I think at the moment uh, probably with no more than twenty people if that I mean I'd probably have fifteen or something. Yeah. I think you can mm. fit fifteen yeah. Yeah, sort of measurement yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well I mean now now the COVID thing the, all the restrictions are off pretty much. Mm. So yeah, but they might want to lie down they might they say. Yeah, I mean, we'll maybe be sitting down, so it'll be either sitting down and moving around. Um, and we've got, the, we've got the kitchen, and there's also, you know, we can always fill out into that room. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you had a maypole, did you? Yeah, it was oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, really cute. And the Morris men. And the Morris men. What did you have? Was it Little Port Riot? Did you have them when they were? Yeah, they were. They come every year, but I never really saw sort of Yeah, well, probably. It'll be kind 
sounds scary. <laughs> There's a Tai Chi instructor who's a Morris maniac. Maniac. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You might forget which one you're doing. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he does a sort of both. <laughs> Just because every now and then I get asked to play when they're short of fiddly things. Mm. So I, I, I have played for Morris teams before. Oh, it was a shame that they both didn't have real music, it had Thai music, that was a bit Oh, you didn't have actual musicians? Didn't have a band, no. Oh, well, that's a shame. That was a shame. Yes. There was a musician quite on the bottom half of the crew, wasn't there? Oh, was it? Late in the afternoon, there was, yeah. Oh, uh, he should have been doing the hip on as well, then. I can't remember what there he was. There was a discotheque. Surely there is. <laughs> that sounds very traditional. <laughs> no. So we're just relaxing. So, that's, um, so yeah, I didn't learn anything specific um, in the uh, Tai Chi retreat in Sheffield. Because um, I got there, because normally there's people with lots of experience that will pass things on, but because of various wedding things, I was actually one of the people with the most experience. So, um, <laughs> teaching yourself. Yeah. So, uh, that's very good. So not nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. We're just doing bounce. So if you just let go in your lower back. Oh. Really nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you a comedy thing. <laughs> there was a guy who plays harmonica because it was May Day. Mm. And um, I was doing some Kali uh, with uh, stick fighting with uh, teaching some stick fighting to, to one of the Tai Chi people. And um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would actually probably take up Morris dancing just because it's it would embarrass all my friends, and and also I've done a lot of playing. I, I was at more of a furnace uh, festival a few years ago. We're back there this year, and uh, we played in the church. For the um, for the Morris team, and uh, uh, outside the church because they were a bit short of me, so I just joined in. <laughs> they, uh, every time one of them moved their legs, the bells would ring. Oh yes, yes, yes. very interesting. That's very cute. So we just. We're just gently, and you want to tune in into this, but the, the uh, and then, um, yeah, so I was doing some stick fighting, and then one of the people that was watching, so stopped, stopped training for a bit, got his harmonica out and played the Morris tune while we were doing that, and then we both ended up doing Morris, Morris dancing. <laughs> That's been funny. And then, uh, yeah, we'll show you this very funny clip. So we're all nicely connected. So yeah, it's a bit of a Tai Chi overload um, month yeah. um, I've got because I've got I did well, it was three full days of Tai Chi and then a little bit on the Monday morning and off we went and then I've got all day Monday all day Tuesday for the rehabilitation mm -hmm. and then the week after I'm going to Reading to see my teacher um, doing Tai Chi there. So breathing. Ah, feel that you're all connected. Okay, back to bounce, back to bounce, and then we just. Ah. Yeah, the, the builder guy is still fixing the window, it's been a bit of an epic, but I'm glad. Yeah. So, don't forget the bit in the middle. If I just do this in slow mo, we just have a look. So, demonstration, observe. We start like this, and you want to really relax. So you've got floppy five wrists, floppy five elbows, nice relaxed shoulders. So we start here and then it comes down and the arms fall down as the hips come down. And as the hips come up, it fires up your arms. And then you sink, the 
go, no, actually, we're, we're going to stick with slow mo. We're going to stick with slow mo. Now, I've had quite a long association with Morris dancers over the years because the, the stewarding in the Mill Road Winter Fair, um, I was on the walkie talkie. I was very excited getting the walkie talkie when the stewarding. Feel quite important. And it was like control to stewards. And um, we've lost such and such Morris. They're supposed to be playing at the deaf centre and they're not there. Does anyone know where they are? And then there was a um, the steward, no, steward at such and such to control. I'm going to go and look in the White Swan pub. <laughs> see if they're in there, and they were. <laughs> Control to steward in the white swan. Can you ask to get out the white swan and get more? It starts really funny. I was just cracking up. So, there we go. So we're nice and relaxed, and we're just oh, we're just I just show from the side. So, we're, and we're doing our sleepy tiger eyes. So eyes like a sleepy tiger, they're relaxed but alert. Um, yeah, but because it was May Day, mm. I said, yeah, play that tune again. I did a bit of that Jan Woo, you know, the spontaneous mm. stuff. Mm. And very, very, very funny. <laughs> so. Yeah, usually by the time you hit <clears throat> day two of a, no, day three, it was day three of a residential weekend. Everyone's really relaxed. And Got a bit silly, so. It's almost like a. Oh, and you want to relax the shoulder, sing. And as you sing, you extend the fingers out and we come up, down. And then we go a little bit quicker, so you're now using the momentum. Oh, much better. Very good. Very good. So that's. Was a storyteller there? Did you get the storyteller this year? Or? No, I didn't see that. Didn't see that. Okay. I might have been that. Didn't you? Didn't see that. So, were you one of the stewards, or I just came with the family? Okay. Um, sometimes they rope you in. To yeah, see they see you get roped in. Yeah, I'll be. Yeah, John that used to come to town. He would yeah. get up in the road. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I open the arms. Apparently, he's the Bell's warden. Oh! He needs a swap and cry. Sure. Yeah, but he lives in reach. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're only next door. Well, yeah. I mean, you can walk to swap and cry for yeah. Yeah, about 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. 15. <laughs> 15, <laughs> 15 <okay. laughs> But yeah, it's me. Yeah. But yeah, it's got a much more peaceful atmosphere because there is a bit of the noise of the road at the uh, at Swanton, so I think we'll. we'll So I've still not received the poster from Peter. As soon as I get the poster from Peter, okay. we can start taking bookings. So I said there's lots of people interested in the Rhythm and Moods weekend in Norfolk. Mm -hmm. It's such a lovely place. Four, three, two, and one, and change. There we go. Just nice and relaxed. One in front, one behind. So we just very slowly go through the... Um, Loosely, then we're going to have a look at Bud One Gym. Step back and circle off and then 
Um, and then at some point, you'll be looking at wave hands like clouds and then trying to stick it into the form. We're slowly working through the form. So, but yeah, basically over the weekend, it was, it was mainly just learning, just relax. So whatever's going on, just relax. It's fine. Oh, relax the palms and the hands a bit more. 
and relax the elbows and wrists and shoulders. <coughs> so this is one I, I stole from Mark Peters, and you can actually do a version like that where you lift the um, heel of the floor if you want a bit of a bigger movement. And you, you can turn a bit as well. You can just turn. around the jaw, softly goes and forward as you listen behind and above. So that's my sandals creaking, that's not my joints. Breathing in and out. So we are all breathing, aren't we? Very good. So that does help if you just breathe. So you breathe in, you breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and then repeat. And as you're breathing in, just think of the air just filling this area around here. And then it expands into your body. And then we go round and round <coughs> in a circle. So. Chin is 
is holding the small ball floating in water. We're nice and tall, and we're all breathing. Ah, what a relief. Um, to activate the arches of the foot and then we go round and round in a, in a circle so I was so um, I've been having an interesting time on different surfaces practicing on different surfaces so in Sheffield we were basically on this slope there weren't any flat bits it was all on slopes so we were, we were doing the movements and things on a permanent and on the ground, it's a very flat ground in Cambridgeshire, incredibly flat, so we're not really used to hills and things. Um, and then on, on Monday I was, I was playing a gig on a, on a boat, which was really cool because it kept going up and down. I thought, right, I'm going to do the whole of the lounge on the boat, the whole of the chain, and it was fantastic because there's a jumping bit where you jump up and spin round and then land, and as I landed, the boat went dying. <laughs> It was brilliant fun. I was like, oh, this is great. And then I was trying to stand on one leg on the boat. And I couldn't. Funny that, huh? So nice and relaxed because it's difficult enough standing on one leg when the ground is still. So we go like this, cat starts, we come up, step. So this exercise is one of Ever Kaskuba's exercises. And um, So what's happening? So I'm on one, this is my standing leg, still standing leg, very light. Then you transfer the weight. That's it. Nice and relaxed. One, two, three, four. One, two. Heel toe. Transfer. Cat starts. So quite close in. Quite close in. That's it. So you've got most of your leg, maybe 90%, 10%, if that. Up, flex the ankle, step, transfer, cat stance, relax, tall. So have a little check, have a little posture check down the spine. There we go. But yeah, different surfaces. And also just relaxing. But. So what Emma does, right, we'll, we'll do a little, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Heel toe. Fun, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. Try this on the boat. <laughs> Nine, ten. Let's time you're on a ferry. <laughs> you can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Marvellous. Last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. So then what you do uh, with this exercise, if you want to progress it, she um, then has a timer and we stand there for 30 seconds and then do it 30 seconds and then we do it for one minute <laughs> and then we've done the minute and we're thinking, oh, and she goes, right, we'll do it for another minute, now close your eyes. And then that's it, you're kind of, yeah, you, got no you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but it's worth um, 
We might try that, we might progress towards that, but I think we'll just stick with the 10 seconds for now. Because <laughs> you, you want to keep everything relaxed, and then what you find is that if you get tense, then that's where you start doing all this stuff. And then the other thing, um, uh, what I've done with Corel, is he's, he has this exercise where you just move your leg around randomly, like you're sort of a bit lost. You don't quite know where your leg's going. And we'll just try that, you can have your arms out for balance. <laughs> and it's, it's good. I'm sure I used to do stuff like this when I was about three years old. It feels like something a three year old would do. Yeah, it's easy for them. They don't have any inhibitions. They have no inhibitions, yeah. And then, and then you do it on the other leg, and, and maybe this all, because this all works your balance. Yeah. And yeah. And, oh, and you, can, you can bring the leg round and up. And just just explore. <laughs> and if you lose your balance, that's fine, just, just get it back. And then we did that for ages, and then and then Carol went, now close your eyes. <laughs> and then you, you just sort of amazing. it's amazing. You just go all over the place. But after we'd done it, for the rest of the seminar, I thought much better balance, mm -hmm. actually. So it's it's worth having a little play around with these. Daft exercises, just as, um, and then you do it, and the next time you have to have your health check up or have to see the physio, and they go, oh, Can you stand on one leg? It's quite good. But all this stuff works your balance, works the brain, yeah. uh, all good coordination, all, all good stuff. Okay, uh, ha 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 ha, I've done that, I've done that one. Yeah, we'll leave the balance exercises now. Uh, let's have a look at, oh gosh. Let's have a look at the Bad One Gym, due to popular request. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. we're going to do the Bad One Gym. So, um, hmm. I think it starts like that, doesn't it? That's the punctuation. Just like that, Just like that yeah. So, <clears throat> let's lock things, breathe in, breathe out. I think he went up on tippy toes. Breathe in, breathe out, and then you come round. Sometimes he leaves that bit out actually and just does this up and down thing, but it depends. Like in the first part of the video, he was definitely doing that bit in the middle, but then when he did it again, he left it out. So <laughs> it was Mark Peters. There we go. So, so Mark learned in Malaysia when he was a youngster and hung out with people like um, Nigel Sutton and all them lot, Simon Wise. So I think this is called holding up heaven or something like that, or stretching. Oh, and you can look up slightly at an angle. That was the other thing. Yeah. I've completely lost count, so we'll do we'll do one more after this, and then hopefully that should be eight times. <laughs> we won't. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, we've done it lots, haven't we? We've definitely done it lots. Okay, so that's movement number one. Movement number two, bend the bow to shoot the arrow. So you come up like this. You cross your hands, and I've got my left hand in front, have your right hand in front, and then bring the foot in. And you come up, and then step. And as you sink down, bend the bow, shoot the arrow, and you've got your, that hand, the tiger's mouth, and you're sinking down, and you're looking Slightly menacing, and then you go in the middle and then up, step. This one's a bit character building, so you might want to go a little bit easier on the downward bit. You might want to stay a little bit more upright because we've got to do this lots of times, and you might want legs that are happy. So. Happy legs. 
So you could do the baby, you could do the baby bow now and just do it to there, and that's just as good. I'm going to go further down, otherwise I'm going to get mowed up by Barry McGinley. He's, uh... <clears throat> yeah, they're learning great big ginormous stick at the moment, and they were posing with great big six foot pole. It's really fun. I'd love to join in. <laughs> Not very lamp shady practice, but there we go. We come down. That's it. And, down. and as you come down, there's a stretch between the the arms. So I'm pulling on the bowstring and you're sighting. That's it. We come up. We're breathing in, stepping and then breathing out and it's all very, yeah, that's it. You want to make it equal. Well, I've done versions of this where you've got more weight on one leg than the other. I've got loads of different versions of this. So this is the one that I learned the most recently. But I've done other versions. And then we come back. I think we'll stop on this one if that's alright with everybody. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh thank goodness that's so great. <laughs> I think that's the hardest move out of all eight of the moves. Okay, movement three, stretching between heaven and earth. So you just come up through the middle and then you turn. Oh, and feel your chest open gently and you come back, you come up and you turn. And you can actually turn if you want, you can turn towards the lower arm. Or you can just do it plain, but we'll just have a little turn towards the lower, lower arm and then you get a little bit of waist, you get your waist exercise as well. So come up, down, turn towards the lower arm. Yeah, I mean, I'd be really happy to teach Morris dance as Tai Chi, actually. I think it would be good, because then they'd be a lot more relaxed yeah. when they were banging their sticks and hankies together. Just... <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the most... Yeah, I don't really know what to make of it, really. <laughs> I've never... Under... I mean, I'm, you know, I feel born here, but there's certain cultural things that I just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I like that it is so. You like that it is old. It is very old, but <laughs> I mean, I've seen other traditional dance in other countries, and I have to admit, you know, compared with like yeah. Indian Kapak dancing, and African <laughs> dancing, it's not quite as cool. <laughs> there we go. That's much nicer, everybody. Let's do one more time inside. It's a completely lost count. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, and then we'll... Oh, lovely. <clears throat> so movement number four is called Wise Owl Looks Around. So, breathing in. And out. And then we just turn. Just breathe naturally. And come back. So my friend Nick, that's a naturalist and musician and does recordings of sound and videos, he mainly does kingfishers, but he also branches out into owls and nightingales. He, he was listening to some owls last night, apparently, I got a very excited email from him, oh. saying, I've just heard some owls and they sung D as well as A. Oh. Very excited because normally they're in B flat. Oh, Normally wow. they sing B flat quite a lot. So he was like, wow, that's amazing. And I said, did you record it? He goes, no, I didn't have any batteries. I was like, no. So I would have absolutely loved to have heard some Tommy Owl singing in D. That's quite exciting. Mm -hmm. So wise owl looks around. So I don't know what this owl is singing in. Then we've got bear 
wags its tail, mm -hmm. the bear wags its tail. So what you do is you put your hands on your hips and you step out into the horse stance. And then we look off into the distance and we swing round and then we come back. So you can actually exaggerate this bit if you want. And we go one, two, three. So I watched uh, Master Faye Yip uh, teach this on the, uh, I'm, 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 I'm subscribed to a whole load of Tai Chi channels. And they do a much bigger version, which will, this is a little bit more understated. <laughs> But if you want, you can actually really exaggerate the moves, go right down, Ooh. and then you can kind of come like that, but that's a bit too much. So I just sort of do a more, well, when I learnt it off of Mark, he had a much more understated version, which was, what's the beat? There you go. So always put it back where you found it. Okay, we'll, we'll do um, another one. Nice, and then come back. And then we just. Oh. Okay, so. Punch in with angry go. So you breathe in, breathe out. So we'll add the extra bits on that I stole from Evan the Speedway. <laughs> Because I just prefer that. Because this is a little bit dull as far as I'm concerned. I mean, you just practice your angry gaze. So we're working, you know, imagine you're working in the Houses of Parliament and you've just noticed that someone next to you is watching something on their phone <laughs> and you're a bit annoyed with them. So looking at pictures of tractors on their phone when they should be working. One more time inside, oh, we'll stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> And then we go back. Marvellous. Okay, now we're going to horse dance. We're going to do Emma's version. Yes. So we come out to the side. One, and then back. Two, the angry games. Back. Three. Four. So this is a nice little exercise for your neck. Five. We'll do eight. Six. Seven. Oh, they were chatting about it on the radio. Oh, it looked very funny. Okay, and then we go like double, um, yeah, we'll do a double one. And this time we're going to really, so what we do is you let the hips drop, I'll just show it from the diagonal. We let the hips drop, and poof. So it's like, yeah, it's called Cannon Fist, which is a great name, isn't it? Yeah. Firing cannons. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Oh, let's do it again. One, <laughs> two, I love this. Three, and four. Mold. Okay, and then we go out to the side of that. Because we're not, we're doing both, we don't need to turn the head. So we come up and we go. One, two. Isn't it satisfying? Three. <laughs> like you're bursting out of a cake. Four. One. Two, three, and four. Fantastic. Come back to Wuchi and we just. Oh. Then we've got the character building one that everybody loves. <laughs> Think, does he? Has his feet in a little bit closer so you come up like this, stretch up. You don't need to go on tippy toes. And fill that open and you come back down. Then the hands go behind, and then you stroke down your back. And now this is the bit where you wish you were Barry. You bring your hands round your feet and straighten the legs. Oh my God. And then you come up. <laughs> and then we do it again. <clears throat> One. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in.
So it's a good one, really good one for your back actually. But it's a bit mm, character building, isn't it? It's not as character building as um, bend the bow to shoot the arrow. That really is very character building. But <laughs> Fantastic. We'll just do two more. Stroke down the back of your legs and then you get your hands all around the front of your feet. When Barry does it, you can get the whole of his hand almost to his, his heel and then come and go up. So we might, might pick his brains on that. But he is teaching this again in the next weekend mm. uh, that I'm going to. Okay, any questions on that? Oh, it's almost 20 past. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll just go back to this. We better have a water break, actually. See you next week. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, if I'd have thought, I could have given some leaflets out. Yeah. Although the poster's still there, isn't it? Isn't the yeah. poster the time? Yeah. Oh, that's Okay, let's just have a little water break because uh, hydration is very good. And then what we'll do is we're going to have a look at step back and circle arms for fun. Because we looked at that last week and it was quite fun. And we'll do it again. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, very good.
Okay, right. Um, so in the, the form, um, just so you know where it is in, in, in context, you've done your punch, you've done this bit, you've got to the end of the form, um, you've done that, and then you've got this thing going on. We'll, we'll be covering this at some point, I'm just showing you where we are. Like that, like that, and then it goes like point like that, and then it goes like this, like this, and then like this. So we left cat stance, and then we do step back and circle arms. So I'll we'll demonstrate. So we left cat stance, left cat stance, and you turn. There's one, two, three step, four, and then five. You transfer the weight back. Eventually, this all kind of merges in, uh, and, and sort of smooths off a bit. Two, three, uh, four, and then. There we go. So we're just doing that. Again, this is my take on it. I do it slightly different to how Mike does it. I do it more like what uh, whatever showed me a few years ago. Okay. Just do that. Try it a few times. We'll do it. Uh, we'll step back five times, and we're we're in left. Um, so if I show it from the other side, you're in left, um, it's called fist over, fist under elbow, because your fist is under your elbow, I love it. You know, you get these moves and they're called blue green dragon emerges from the water or phoenix spreads its wings, fist under elbow, come on, <laughs> you could have called it something cool, but oh well, pragmatism, isn't it? So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One. And there's no, they don't do the turning like they do when we're doing 24 steps. Either. It just lifts the heel, comes in, comes out, and then once more we're feeling, then what you can do is you go like this, you go like this, hold the ball, so I'll come a bit closer to the ones I'm going out of the shot, step, there we go, so we can go to there. So this is the Chen version of white crane, which is a lot, in, in Yang style when we do white crane, it's quite, you know, it's like that, but in Chen, they do it, which is a lot of baby crane, and then that's, that's the ending, yeah. Let's do that again, oh gosh, dear, I keep running out of time, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Let's do that again, and, um, and then we'll, we'll have a look, actually what we'll do is we'll do white tape off the sprout that's quite a nice one. Um, I was looking at it in Burwell this morning and I thought, oh yeah, I've got to go back. So we'll do one more round walking backwards five times and then, and then end up in white crane. And then eventually all the segments. So we're practicing the whole of the form in bits. And then eventually at some point they'll all get put together in this beautiful, beautiful thing of harmony and art, you know. Right, here we go. So we're uh, left cat stance, right fist under left elbow. Oh, nice and tall. See, only your space. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Like you're spreading out the sheet. Five. One, Two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five, and five, two, three, four. Oh, now this time you don't go five, you stay on four, and you turn, turn the same in the front leg. Now you transfer to the back leg, so you hold the ball. Now you step back with your right foot, 
Bring the right hand to the left. White crane spreads its wings. Brilliant. Okay, while well, we're here, why well, take off this fruit? So we step, we go like this. Marvelous. We're all breathing. We open, keep the weight forward, keep the weight forward. Nice, soft, light arms. Arms are floating, you sink back, you sink forwards. Very good. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, maybe maybe starting up my own Morris troop called Jean Morris. I think mm. that could work. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to learn a natural, yeah. My friend Tim, he always wears tweeds and has a beard. And um, big, and big bushy, gingery hair, and he's part of the Morris. Um, worked in a music shop and freaked out one of his friend, uh, colleagues working in the music shop because it was quite dark. And, the shop had closed, so he was there in the dark next to all the pianos practicing his Morris steps with his hankies. Completely freaked him out, but really good. <laughs> I'm sure it could be adapted to be quite vicious martial art. I'll do that. So there we go, we're doing this marvellous. Aren't we good? So relax your, relax your body. Relax your body, we're just nice and relaxed. Let's do one more. Half the wild horse's mane, holding the pearl. There we go. Breathe in, breathe out. But that was so good. I reckon we got away with it, didn't we? So let's come round in a, a zoom circle, a triangle now. Yeah. That was wonderful. Let's go back to that one again, just to make sure our backs are happy and our arms are nice and flippy floppy fried. That's technical. And breathing in. Keep breathing some more. Very nice. Okay, well let's do my favourite, due to popular request, Plum blossom falls left and right. So we come up, and we got there's still a little bit of blossom left. And I was, um, yeah, it was great. Um, in, in, in Sheffield, there was this beautiful blossom tree, and every now and then the wind would blow, and we'd be like, we'd be all covered in blossom. The only thing is, it'd go in your cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> blossom tea. Man, that's fine. Uh, there we go. Plum blossom falls. That beautiful blossom. We've got a sunny day. We've got the birdies singing, we've got the lovely blossom falling, beautiful. Oh, oh it's such a nice move, isn't it? It's just very nice, just feel, really soften the arms a bit more, soften the arms more. Keep breathing, so notice your breath, notice your feet. One more time, make it good. Once more with feeling. Fantastic, and then we come up and down. Okay, so calm the mind, regulate the breathing, soften the muscles. So, um, yeah, do embrace the time you return to the mountain. So we're getting into our solid, resilient, grounded, centred state. So just, yeah, let go more in the lower back. So you're still, you want to just let go, lengthening. Today, that's nice, isn't it? 
so Master Chung says this helps you to look younger. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, I've been doing this exercise coming up for probably about 17 or 8 years now. So if I hadn't been, maybe I'd have been well old looking, wouldn't I? So it's like, um, you know, I'd look like I was 72 or something. Terrible. And um, rub the hands together. Really funny. Burwell this morning, somebody got asked, oh, have you had your fourth jab yet? She goes, I'm 74. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right. 